Hello, everyone. I'm Lily Chen from the Department of Cognitive Sciences at UC Irvine. Today, I'm going to talk about my study on the sex differences in head reaction signals when learning a complex environment. Previous researchers have used patterns of brain activity to successfully predict the head direction a person is facing when exploring in an open space, an analysis called classification. Whether head direction signals can be classified in the brain when exploring in a complex environment remains a question. Further, since sex differences have frequently been reported in human wayfinding, we wonder whether there are sex differences in head direction signals when navigating in a complex environment. Based on previous research, we hypothesized that in a virtual navigation task, head direction signals can be classified in distributed brain regions. These regions include retrosplenial cortex, precuneus, thalamus, early visual cortex, and subregions of extrasensory cortex related to optic flow including MT, MST, and V3A. The picture on the upper right is an overhead view of our virtual maze. In the experiment, 105 participants first explored the maze by pressing buttons in an fMR scanner, including 55 males and 50 females. The task during the exploration phase was to find nine objects located in the environment and remember their locations. You can watch a demo of the test phase in the video. In the test phase, participants were asked to start from one object location to go to another object location within a limited time. They did not receive any feedback about whether they were correct. For data analysis, we calculated a beta series for each subject's decision-making period when they were stationary looking in the south, east, west, or north directions in the exploration and navigation test phases for males and females separately. Then we conducted a multivariate pattern analysis to discriminate brain activation patterns of the four directions in different regions of interest separately. The regions of interest include retrosplenial cortex, precuneus, thalamus, early visual cortex, and extrastric cortex. The first figure here represents direction classification, strength, or accuracy in different brain regions for all 53 male participants who completed the entire task. We found that our classifier could discriminate directions in precuneus and thalamus during the exploration phase and the classifier could discriminate directions in the early visual cortex during the test phase. We then computed direction classification strength or accuracy in different brain regions for all 45 female participants who completed the entire task. We found that our classifier could discriminate directions marginally better than chance in the precuneus during the exploration phase. For early visual cortex, however, Classification strengths remained significant in both exploration and test phases, indicating its roles in constantly contributing to direction discrimination from beginning to the end for females. Comparing our classifiers' performance between female and male brain signals in the exploration phase, we found that our classifier performed slightly better in males than in females for a thalamus and significantly better in males than in females for precuneus. In the navigation test phase, no sex difference was found in the classification strength in any of the regions. As an exploratory analysis, we compared the head direction classification strength during the exploration phase of females dropped out with motion sickness and females who completed the entire experiment. Females tend to have more motion sickness than men, and it is possible that some of the signals involved in motion sickness would overlap with head direction. No, no difference in classification strength were found between the two female groups in any of the brain regions in the exploration phase, 
but the sample size of the motion sickness females is very small. So it is difficult to make any conclusions. Only two male participants dropped out due to motion sickness. There is an indication that the classification strength on head reaction signals in precuneus was lower for, female, for males with than without motion sickness, but this result is also inconclusive due to the small sample size. Overall, this study indicates that there are sex differences in basic head direction signals during navigation. In particular, the head direction signals during stationary decision making indicated that the ROIs, where the classifier could successfully discriminate between the four directions, differed between males and females. These findings suggest the primary building blocks of navigation have early differences that differ by sex, which could affect later navigational abilities. I'd like to thank my PI, Dr. Elizabeth Cresto, and other members from the Spatial Neuroscience Lab, as well as funding agencies in supporting the research. Thank you for listening.